my channel. This week I want to share with you a new super cool four strand braid technique that I've learned recently. If you want to see how it's done, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thumbs up this video if you like this tutorial. Now let's go ahead and begin. I start by parting a small U-shaped section on the top of my head. Then I will glide three of my fingers into that section and divide it into four strands. The steps are going to be quite easy to remember because you'll only be going from one side. In my case it's from my left. So I cross the first strand over the second one, under the third one and over the fourth one. And that is one stitch completed. Now I'll be adding an extra hair from the sides to the outer strands. So I start with my right strand, then I grab on with my fist and I place my middle finger and then index finger over the next strand so I separate them while I hold on to the three strands and add in an extra section to my leftmost strand and then I go from the beginning. So from my left side, over, under and over again. So let's take it slow one more time. I'm adding in new hair to my rightmost strand. Then I'm separating the, all of the strands with my fingers while I'm grabbing the hair with my fist and then I'm adding in hair to my leftmost strand. And once I've done that, I start from the top, which means from my left side, over, under, and over again. And I will continue doing these steps. I will add an extra hair from the sides to both my strands and then I will do that one stitch. So I always go from my left side and go over, under, over. If it feels more comfortable to you, you can feel free to reverse this and start from your right side always. I learned this technique from Heather Chapman, she's an amazing hairstylist and her trademark kind of is that when she does these braided hairstyles, the braids are always super big, she really pulls them out and that is what you'll need to do with this braid later on for it to reach its full potential. I saw her do this braid on a model with very long hair and it was barely layered, so if your hair is not layered you really can go wild with the pulling of this braid and it will really look stunning. Although my hair is getting a tiny bit longer in the back now, I still have a lot of short layers in the front, so I have to be careful when pulling out any braid so that I don't pull too much and my layers don't poke out. Of course, if that happens, you can fix this with bobby pins, so don't be too afraid of that. But if your hair is layered like mine, you have to be gentle and kind of go slow and see where it takes you and then just pull the braid out little by little. So this is how it looks now before we start pulling. Make sure that you don't start part will start, which is starting to pull out that middle strand we have there. That is what's gonna give this braid the mohawk effect. Now if your hair has few layers and it's longer, you can really go wild here. For those of us with shorter hair and layers, I hope that you agree that we can still make it work for us. This technique is slightly different to the other four strand braid that I have been doing. I will link some videos down below. I think this one is easier to follow and the main difference is that you end up adding hair to all of the strands without leaving that one out and that makes it a little bit more attainable for us with layers. 
This one is also more edgy. Because my hair is shorter, I ended up bringing the elastic to the nape of my neck and then making a messy bun and then using these kind of pins to just hide the elastic. But if your hair is longer, then you can most definitely continue the braid down and pull it out. When you tie the braid off at the ends though, make sure to leave out at least two or three inches of hair and don't tie the elastic too tight so that you leave yourself room to pull the braid apart. And here I didn't quite like the droopy side on my right side, so I just pull it back into the braid and then without opening the bobby pin, I pinned it into the braid. And here's the finished look. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. That's a wrap for this week's tutorial. I hope you like this hairstyle as much as I do. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future tutorials. See you in my next video. Bye!